project. Today, we're in Independence, Iowa, right next to the old mill along the Wapsipinicon River. The Wapsie Wilds project links people, communities, and outdoor recreational resources together. Come on, let's go get wild on the Wapsie. Hi, I'm Darren Siefkin from the Wapsie Wilds project. Bird watching and wildlife viewing is the number one outdoor recreation activity here in the country. And the Wapsipinicon River is a great place to go bird watching and wildlife viewing. 250 of the 300 bird species can be found along the Wapsie during the year's time. So let's go bird watching. Hey, uh, this is Darren and Kyle, and we're out here doing a little bird watching along the Wapsie today. Lots of great birding opportunities along the Wapsie. What you're gonna need for gear and equipment are a pair of binoculars and a good field guide. One of my favorites is a Sibley field guide of birds. When you get into bird watching a little bit more, a spotting scope would be a great tool to have to look at ducks, geese, bald eagles, and other things in the distance. So there's a lot of great places to go bird watching along the Wapsie, whether it be a county park or state wildlife area, there's lots of great places to go. Some of my favorites include Alcock Park at Frederica, Sweet Marsh near Chipola, the Wapsie River Greenbelt also near Chipola, and the Aldo Leopold Wetland Complex uh, down by Reedland. Sweet Marsh, for example, is one of the top three bird watching spots in the state. Over 250 species of birds can be spotted alone at Sweet Marsh during the year, including sandhill cranes, pelicans, nearly every duck species and waterfowl species. Just a great place to go. So just remember, while you're bird watching here in Northeast Iowa along the Wapsie, think about private property. Make sure you're always staying on county and state public areas. Hi, I'm Darren Siefkin from the Wapsie Wilds Project. The funding for these video casts have come from the REAP CEP program, Resource Enhancement and Protection Conservation and Education Program. Other funding for the Wapsie Wilds Project has come from the Iowa Natural Resources Based Opportunity Grant, Cedar Valley Resource Conservation and Development, Crawdaddy Outdoors, the Mitchell County Community Foundation, the Chickasaw County Community Foundation, and the Buchanan County Community Foundation, as well as Farmers Savings Bank in Frederica and Jason Borthman. Thanks for their support. We're able to do these video casts.